Hello everyone, welcome to the next session of finite element analysis. In this session, I am going to solve another derivation of quadrilateral element with 8 nodes. This is also called as serendipity. Serendipity means when you don't have a node at the center. Now this is the diagram which is given to me. This is a quadrilateral with 8 nodes. This is in rectangular coordinate system. I will first transfer this to natural coordinate system. For that, I will draw my two axes. This is my zeta axis. This is my eta axis. And I have my quadrilateral over here. Now I have already shown you in the derivation of quadrilateral element with four nodes as to how we are supposed to find these values. We will be starting with 0, 0 at the center and then we will be walking at a distance of unity and marking all the coordinates. So let me quickly fill it up. So here I have filled up all the coordinates. I have not written here 0, 0 because it is not required for me. I need 8 nodes and these are enough for it. So I'll just quickly mark them. This is 1, this is 2, the order is 3 and 4. Please note the next node should start between 1, 2. So this is 5, 6, this node is 7 and this last node is 8. This is A, B, C and D. Now I will be marking an additional line over here before I start. That is between 8 and 5. So I'll just join this point and I'll draw a line here. I'm not drawing any further lines, which though I'm going to use, but I'm not drawing. Now we will start with the derivation of shape function for node 1. So I will write to find phi 1. Now this phi 1 term will vanish along certain lines. So the first one is line 2 3 you can see in 2 3 node 1 doesn't appear along 3 4 this node 1 doesn't appear there but node 1 will appear along 1 2 and 1 4 so i cannot consider these two lines so i will be taking up 2 3 3 4 and 5 8 for this derivation these are the three lines which i am supposed to take so i will go for line 2 3 now for this line Equation of line will be, when I look here in 2, 3, the zeta term remains constant. So, I will write down zeta is equal to 1 or I can say 1 minus zeta is 0. Second, it will vanish along line 3, 4. So, the equation of line 3, 4 is, When you look here carefully, 3, 4, eta is 1 everywhere. So, I'll write down eta is 1 or 1 minus eta is equal to 0. Now, next I'll go for this line 5, 8. We will see how we are supposed to calculate the equation of this line. So, I'll write here line 5, 8. Now, when you look at this line 5, 8, the equation of the line can be calculated in this way. So, this is 8 which is minus 1 comma 0. This is 5 which is 0 comma minus 1. Now, I will be writing in terms of eta zeta. So, here I will write down eta and zeta, a point in between the two. Now, I will take zeta minus this term. So, I will have zeta plus 1 divided by I will take 0 minus this term. So, I will get 0 plus 1, I am using 2 point form, is equal to, here I will take eta minus 0 divided by minus 1 minus 0. So, this will be zeta plus 1 is equal to eta and here I will have minus 1, this will be plus 1. So, when I solve this, I will have minus zeta minus 1 is equal to eta. Therefore, all the terms if I take on one side, I have 1 plus zeta plus eta is equal to 0. So, this is the equation of line 5, 8. So, now I have three equations of line. So, I can form my equation of phi 1. So, let's say let phi 1 is equal to a into I have 1 minus zeta 
1 minus eta and 1 plus zeta plus eta. Now here I will write down at node 1, phi 1 is 1 and zeta is equal to minus 1, eta is equal to minus 1. Let's substitute. Therefore, 1 is equal to a into 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1, 1 minus 1, minus 1. So, therefore, I get a is equal to, this is 2 and this is 2, 4 minus, so minus 1 by 4. When I substitute in this equation, I get therefore, phi 1 is equal to minus 1 by 4 into 1 minus zeta, 1 minus eta, 1 plus zeta plus eta. Similarly, you can calculate phi 2, phi 3, phi 4. I am not calculating. I will just show you a trick as to how you are going to write in the exam in case the question is not giving you a lot of marks. So, you can just simply write down. Now, whatever is applicable to phi 1 will be applicable to phi 2, phi 3 and phi 4 because they are all corner uh, nodes. So, I will be writing down the equation of 3 of them. Now, you can just remember the trick. I will have minus 1 by 4 for each of them. I will have 3 terms with the relation of 1 zeta, 1 eta, 1 zeta, eta each. So, you can see I have made the structure. Now, I will be filling up the sign. Now, I am going to use the same trick which I used in the previous derivation of 4 nodes advertises. There, I had told you that these two are taking the sign from the node coordinate. So, it is not applicable everywhere. This is just a trick for few places and at various places you will have to use various tricks to remember them. So, the trick for this much portion of phi 1 to phi 4 is for the first node these two are minus. So, you can see these two have taken minus sign. So, accordingly for rest of them I will take the sign from the coordinates like for B I will have plus minus. For C, I'll have plus plus and for D, I'll have minus plus. So, I'll quickly place them here. Now, for filling up these terms, I'm giving you another technique. You can see here, if zeta had a negative sign in this bracket, here zeta has taken a positive sign before it. Same way, eta had negative sign here, it became positive. So, here also, whatever signs are present in these two brackets, I will put up the alternate signs in these positions. Like here it is plus, so I will write minus. Here eta was minus, I will write plus. Same way, these two will become minus and this will be plus minus. So, this is just a technique which you can use. These are the values which you would have obtained had you solved them completely. Now, next I will go for calculation of 5, 5. Now, whatever is applicable to 5, 5 will be applicable to 6, 7 and 8 node. So, I will be calculating only for the fifth one. So, I will write down to find 5, 5. 5, 5 vanishes along first. Now, 5, 5 is not present in 2, 3, 3, 4, 1, 4. It is present in phi 8, so I cannot use this line. I cannot use 1, 2 because it is present on this line. So, simply I can use 3 lines, 2, 3, 3, 4 and 1, 4. So, let's start equation of line 2, 3 will be zeta is equal to 1 or 1 minus zeta is equal to 0. Second equation of line 3, 4 which we have already done is eta is equal to 1 or 1 minus eta is equal to 0. And third one, equation of line 1, 4, which will be, you can see here, zeta is equal to minus 1. So, I can say 1 plus zeta is equal to 0. Therefore, I will write down 5, 5 is equal to a into 1 minus zeta, 1 minus eta, 1 plus zeta. Then I will write down at node 5. Phi 5 will be 1 and zeta is equal to 0. Eta is equal to minus 1. When I substitute here, I will get 1 is equal to a into this will be 1. This will be 1 plus 1 and this is just 
1. So therefore, A is equal to 1 by 2. So my 5, 5 will now be 1 by 2, 1 minus eta, 1 minus eta, 1 plus zeta. Now these two terms can combine together and will form 1 minus zeta square and this will be 1 minus eta. So this is my 5, 5. Next, I'll write similarly for 5, 6, 5, 7 and 5, 8. For writing these, I'll have half everywhere and again two brackets, one with a relation of 1 zeta and one with a relation of 1 eta. Now, here I have taken a square. Be careful. This is square and this is raised to 1. So, I will show you the trick that I'm going to use to remember. Here, zeta has taken square. So, next, I'll write down eta takes a square. Alternately, zeta is a square and eta is a square. So, I am done with the square and raised to power 1 terms. Now, for remembering the signs in between, I will give you a technique. This is minus, then you will write down plus, then you will write down minus and minus. Here, I will start with negative, positive, negative, negative. So, this is just a technique that I use for remembering. If you wish, you can use it. Or if you have any other way of remembering the signs and the squares, you can use that too. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood the entire derivation. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. See you in the next session with next derivation of quadrilateral element with 9 nodes. Thank you.